Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As most of you know, I am part of L'Oreal Leagues and I am bringing you guys another video featuring some of my favorite L'Oreal makeup products. So definitely stay tuned if you would like to learn how to complete this look on yourself. To start this look off, I'm going to prime my skin using the Lancome Visionaire 1 Minute Blur and it's supposed to blur out any of your pores and fine lines, so yeah definitely using that. Then I'm going to follow that with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm just using my hands to smooth it all over my skin. I wanted uh, kind of a sheer coverage because my skin is doing pretty well right now so I wanted to do something that wasn't too heavy so using my fingers allowed me to get a sheer coverage. If you want a heavier coverage you can use a sponge or a foundation brush. Then I'm going to cover up my under eye circles using my Kat Von D concealer and it is about two shades lighter than my actual complexion so it really helps to brighten underneath your eyes and as you see I'm using my sponge because I do want a full coverage. I'm also taking whatever is left on the sponge and applying that to my chin, down my nose and on my forehead so the heavier product is underneath my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation with my Infallible Pro Matte Powder in number 700 and a big fluffy brush. I don't want a lot of product but I definitely need to set because that foundation is more for dry textures and I have an oily skin type so uh, yeah. <laughs> We don't want to be an oily mess. So for the eyes, I already did one side because I kind of improvised this look and I just knew what products I wanted to play with. But I wanted to test out a look first. So yeah, I cheated a bit. But here is how I achieved that. I just outlined the base of my look using my infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in black. And this pencil set, so it's a great base for a smoky eye. And then I blended it out with a synthetic brush so that I don't have any harsh lines when I apply my eyes eyeshadow and it's easier to blend. For my eyeshadow, I decided to go in with another infallible product from L'Oreal. Um, this is not on purpose, it just kind of happened that way. <laughs> and I'm using this brown eyeshadow that's kind of like a bronzy brown, so it looks really, really great uh, for a more dressy, sexy look. Um, it's not too shiny, but it's not matte at all, as you can see. Um, and I love the little precise tip because you can apply it where you want it. So I just applied it to the outer corners of my eye and then blended it out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm going into this Bobbi Brown palette. This is a, just a regular chocolate brown eyeshadow. I'm not sure if the palette is still available. So yeah, just pick up a dark brown eyeshadow and just start blending and diffusing any lines in your crease. Now I'm going to go into this L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour eyeshadow called Ice Latte and it is the perfect amount of champagne shimmer for the inner corners of your eye. Then I take a clean blending brush and just blend it with a brown and that ice color mint. I'm going to show you guys how I get my feline teal eyeliner. So I first go in with the pencil and I just kind of sketch it out and I don't try to do any wing jazz stuff <laughs> I just kind of go on the top and lower lash line really closely to my lashes and then when I want to get really really precise I go in with a angled eyeliner brush and I pick up some of the product from the pencil and I start to define my inner corners and my wing end and that is all so to get a nice sharp end you really want to use an angled brush Now for some amazing eyelashes, I'm going to go in with this new mascara, it's called the Voluminous Feline Mascara and this shade is Black is Black and it is so amazing. The brush really picks up all of your hairs and coats them with a nice amount of mascara and it doesn't dry too fast so you can go in and give yourself a second coat if you need. I'm going to apply false eyelashes so I didn't put too much mascara on the top lashes. As you can see, my lashes are on, I did put them off camera 
one there by Huda Beauty and they're called um, 88, number 88, sorry. <laughs> and I'm just using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter on all my high points, so my brow bone, cheekbones, and nose. Then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Paris Color Reach Lipstick and this is Zoe's Red, number 406. And it is a gorgeous red, especially if you have deeper tones like me and Zoe's Aldana. Um, this is an amazing red for you. It's blue tone, so it's going to make your teeth look nice and sparkly and also just complement your complexion. So I really, really recommend this for the fall. And I did outline my lips using my Vino Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics. And that concludes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed creating it for you guys. I love how sexy yet playful it is because of the teal eyeliner. So yeah, I hope you guys will give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And if you are not new, thank you guys so much for returning to watch some more videos. And uh, yeah, to my next video, stay beautiful.